After Party, the second adventure game from Oxenfree developer Night School Studio, retains their formula of 2D exploration with near constant conversation and telltale like dialogue choices, while introducing a world of neon soaked demonic alleyways and dive bars that look, well, like most of them do on Earth. But inside that over the top demonic shell is a deeply human, cuttingly honest, and frequently funny story about two best friends making it through one hell of a night. After Party's tightly knit cast allows for more personal and affecting storytelling than what we saw in Oxenfree. Best friends Milo and Lola have, surprisingly, found themselves in hell. Believing they've wrongly ended up surrounded by fire and brimstone for eternity, the duo ventures off to win a trip back to Earth by beating Satan in a drinking game. Should be easy enough, right? Well, nothing on Earth or in Hell is that simple, and their winding night takes them through several bar-filled districts of the underworld, turning into an emotionally trying, morally complex adventure. Night School's vision of Hell is bright and colorful, and not just thanks to all the lava oozing around. Each bar and district of the underworld is intriguing to explore, from a chain sports bar packed with TVs to a dingy pool hall and some surprising clubs, every interior is distinct and breathes life into the land of the dead. I did run into some occasional slowdowns in the more open areas and a few infrequent clipped lines of dialogue, but never to the detriment of After Party's most powerful moments. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right. And <sighs> and it's all backed by another impressive score by Scientific, the EDM artist who composed Oxenfree's haunting soundtrack. Balancing both thumping party beats and slow dirges, the music almost always sets the appropriate mood. Night School has done an impressive job of making its stars, Milo and Lola, clearly defined people while also allowing you to take on a level of meaningful control in their dialogue choices. Part of that is thanks to the biting, fun writing, which rolls as smoothly as if Aaron Sorkin added fast-talking kids to his repertoire. Yeah, are there really babies in hell? Wouldn't they just, like, get a pass? Um, no one really gets a pass for being a selfish, narcissistic sociopath. Babies get the fucking express lane here. And though After Party has a specific tale to tell, the dialogue options frequently felt like they had meaningful, emotional implications and occasionally important story ones, too. Night School has littered the blood and rum-soaked streets of hell with hilarious characters who often show a surprising amount of depth. How cabby Sam and personal demon Wormhorn play into the story is better left as a surprise, but actors Ashley Birch and Aaron Yvette, respectively, deliver both hilarious and gutting moments that had me caring for demons in a way I never really would have expected to. And the less said about Dave Fenoy's wonderful portrayal of Satan, the better. It's best left to be discovered, but he's easily one of my favorite devils in quite a while. You wouldn't be attempting to intimidate Mr. Sangbong and Lola Wolf at my carousal, would you? Night School hasn't revolutionized Oxenfree's gameplay formula with After Party so much as evolved it, this time twisting it around with the introduction of a selection of very unfine and horrifying cocktails. Each bar in Hell has its own menu, with drinks that liberate Milo and Lola from their inhibitions in very different ways. The literally acid drink might allow you to say something more energetic, while another drink turns you into a wild flirt. I can't tell if it's your hideous face or your trash heat musk, but you're getting me all hot and bothered over here. As in life, insightful comments like this can be helpful or harmful depending on who you're trying to charm, strong arm, or impress. However you approach a situation, almost every choice in After Party comes with some morally complicated factors. Even when picking what I thought would give me the best outcome, or be the most honorable thing to do, which were not always the same thing, After Party would find devastating ways to tell me how I messed up. What the fuck? Are you, are you serious? How could you motherfuckers? Just, uh, just pretend you can't hear him. I can hear you pretending you don't hear me, you giant asshole! I'm gonna get flayed here! Though even when I felt like I had failed an encounter, After Party didn't throw me to a game over screen. The party kept moving whatever choices I made, and I had to live with the consequences of that, all the way through to a satisfying ending that made my decisions feel like they really had some weight to them. There's nothing damning about spending time in After Party's version of Hell. Night School Studio has crafted an original take on the biblical location, smartly riffed on moral and societal ideas, and told a personal, intriguing story about Milo and Lola's afterlives. 
With sharp writing and voice acting, this choice-driven adventure manages to retain Night School's knack for endearing, character-driven stories, but accentuates it with the unique drinking menu that can further mix up, pun intended, how I decided to shape Lola and Milo's personalities. Tackling some heady ideas with a down-to-earth approach makes After Party's raucous, emotionally moving night in hell one to remember. For more, be sure to check out our review of Oxenfree, and listen to our interview with Night School Studio co-founder Sean Crankel. And for everything else, you're already in the right place. Hell, I, I mean IGN. Go to IGN. To bad decisions. To bad decisions. To get new drunk.